Hello there, let's talk about canonical URLs. So this term you may have seen or may not, um, it's pronounced canonical and what it does is it tells browsers and more importantly search engines which is the proper URL if you have multiple URLs that could lead you to the same page. So I'm sure you've seen websites where you've got things like this. They'll have a URL and then folder, subject, ID, item, something like that. And this is a valid URL, but then they'll also have another version of it where maybe it's just some big long number dot PHP or ASP or something like that. And both of them work. They take you to the exact same page, but the browser and the search engine, you don't want them to treat them as if they are two different pages. You want them to understand that it is really the same resource that you're talking about. So how do we set this up? Well, in your web page, the simplest thing is just this. Up inside the head, you add a link tag with the relationship set to canonical then the href value is the one that you want the search engines to use. So if somebody searches for it and there's two different versions of it, which is the one you want? Usually it's the shortest one, but it could be the one that people understand the most or the thing that people type in the most, the one that people go to the most. Regardless, this is the href that you're saying this is the one that I want to use. And you would put this in, if, if there were actually two physical pages, you would put this in both. But this is the URL that you want to have used. Now, we can do redirects. So you could have a page written in PHP that's doing this. What you can do to redirect from one to another is this. If you add these two headers using PHP, so on the server side, you're saying it's a status code 301, meaning move permanently, and then here's the URL for the new page. This would redirect and it would tell the browser, hey, you know what? You asked for a certain URL, but the resource that you want really exists at this other address. So here you go. Here's the new address. This is the one that you should use from now on. So this is helping the browser out for future requests. You can do the same thing as this inside of your HT access file by simply adding this line, redirect 301. So it's a redirect with HTTP status code 301. If somebody asked for this resource, this is the one that they should be sent to. So Apache will do the redirect and the same as the PHP page, it'll send the code back to the browser so the, brow the browser understands that this is the one that it should ask for from now on. So it will do that redirect. And one last thing to do, if you want to actually do the redirect inside the browser, you can do a client-side redirect. I'm going to shrink this over and I'm going to shrink this one over so that we can see both at the same time. There we are. I'm going to uncomment this. Now note the URL here. I'm sitting at 127.0.0.1, but I have in my hosts file, I've got a redirect um, for example.com. It's just a, a local domain that I've created. So if I remove this, as soon as I do that and the page reloads, there we are. There is the canonical URL, the one that I've defined in refresh. Um, let's comment this out again, back in here, save it, relaunch it. So just so you can see what's happening a little bit slower, let's set this to five instead of zero seconds. There we are, save. And over here, after five seconds, then the refresh, there it is, took place. So we're on a different URL right now. Okay, so that is canonical URLs. That's how they work. That's how you can fix them server-side with server-side programming like PHP or in an HT access file, you can do that redirect like this or inside the HTML. This is probably the most important one, but you can also do a uh, forced refresh on the client side by using the, the meta tag for this. All right, so I'm gonna put uh, the contents of these other two inside here, inside comments, and I'll just leave this source file as a uh, GitHub gist inside the video description for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.